Here we are, Phuket, Thailand. It's October 24th, and uh, I've just uh, woke up and decided to finally get my uh, aquaponics uh, trials back in order. And so I just set this up this morning. I got these um, clay bricks down here holding up. Looks kind of like a Jenga setup. And so, uh, yeah, um, basically I just wanted to get a basic um, grow bed going here this morning. I'm not gonna put any. I'm not gonna plant anything yet or get um, guppy fish again yet until I get the water sorted out. Obviously I got some some leaks. I need to go and uh, get some Teflon tape and seal it up and perhaps even using some PVC cement to make sure these joints are all tight and waterproof. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, we're, we're getting started here. I, since I moved to this new house about three, four months ago, I haven't done anything with aquaponics. I've just gotten everything set up with the solar power on the roof. And I'll get to that in a second. And uh, I did um, hook up this rain collection uh, cistern, I guess. This, this is a water tank. But as you can see, the algae over there on that tank is building up. And that's what you get when you um, use clear clear tanks that are exposed to the sun. So I'm not going to use that as a basically rain catcher for domestic water. But I'll definitely um, utilize that as a fish tank, ultimately, for um, more aqua larger aquaponics. That's 200 liters, so I'll be able to... Maybe cut the top off there, and then it'll be a good storage for fish. And get some um, some fish species that like to eat algae anyway, and then I'll keep that in there clean, and it'll be a good um, uh, place to raise the fish. Um, that's the left over there. So yeah, I got another fish tank there. I'm trying to seal up some silicon and get that up, and that, that'll be more little projects here in the future. But uh, let me just take you up top and show you the back of this. So yeah, as you can see, it's um. Just basically filtering out, filtering out the water right now. I've got a pump. This tank I haven't been using for a while, but there's the uh, DC 5 volt USB pump. And that's connected to a solar power, which I'll show you in a second. Solar panel, small little 10 watt solar panel that is USB direct, so it's all DC here. And uh, you can see that the water is just pumping. That's all I want, just a basic low flow rate. And uh, I pump it from this side of the, the aquarium. And then it comes up here. And uh, it's a really low flow rate, and it empties out here on the top of here, and ultimately it drains on that side. So the whole stream. So it'll be just basically like that concept is just like a little small stream. Um, I can adjust the water level by just adjusting this. Um, so I'll have to make sure when I glue and seal that uh, it's adjustable. So that if I raise that up a little bit, the water inside the grow bed will, the water level will also grow up. Um, so the lowest I can bring it is here. So it's pretty low right now. I don't want to use a lot so it depends um when you first start growing stuff i think when with like little herbs and stuff i want a higher water level because the roots won't actually be reaching the bottom but it, the bigger they grow i'll have to adjust it so it's like now uh, but right now no planting or no fish just yet we're just gonna filter out this water for a few days and i'll show you how the um solar set setup is here so obviously um on the roof here just a really basic uh 10 watt solar panel that's all it is right there and so It'll get several hours on the roof here. This is a south-facing roof, so it's ideal. It's just direct. No batteries at, for this particular system. Um, I do have solar panels over there. You can see, those are for my indoor system, for my lighting and my computer and my fans and all that inside. And that feeds into a master system. But this one is just a direct. And it's just because I wanted to get some herbs um, growing here in the next week or so. Uh, so yeah, and then we'll do some more experiments. We're going to do proper aquaponics with a centralized system and timers. Um, for, I reckon that's going to be a good grow bed. And I also have that one over there that I have yet to. Big bag of, bag of coconut husks there. So that's basically what's in the grow bed here. Got clay pellets and coconut husks. So that's going to be my grow medium. And then, um, yeah, I'll just take it by then. So I just wanted to update real quick on the aquaponics because I've been quiet the last several months, ever since moving and uh, this, uh, deconstructing everything that I had built up at the other place on my experiments. And so yeah, the idea is back, basically back to getting to growing vegetables and herbs. And that'll be um, a slow burn. But yeah, just wanted to bring you up to date.